There you go. Finally a decent one, huh? Yeah. Hit that corner fall every time. There you go. Check it out. Oh, fat belly. That's his food. As soon as it hit the water. There you go. Out here with James. James has been doing pretty good with the pop R. Doubling up with a worm, throwing it out there. And this is his, what, fifth fish? Yep. Yep. All right, so we out here getting torn up by these flying ants or whatever the hell it is. I'm out here filming James. He's out here catching some fish on a pop R. People think, you know, they it's not a good bait or it's old bait, it's old school, whatever, but it still works. There's a reason why they sell them, they always work, you know. So he's out here, he actually caught one about five pounds not too long ago on a pop bar out here. So <laughs> we gotta see if we can get anything else. Hey, so so what you doing with the pop bar? How you catching these fish? I'm pretty much throwing it. Oh, missing. <laughs> pretty much throwing it, letting it hit, let the ripples fade it out, let it sit for a little while, give it a couple little light twitches, get it to walk. Like three twitches, pause, let it sit there for a couple seconds. The sexy share with the um, chartreuse on the belly. Yep. All right, we came out here kind of late. He was actually out here before me, but the weather conditions have overcast skies, had like a light rain earlier, so it kind of cooled everything off. These bass are coming up in the evening from the deep water to go chase bait fish and other stuff in the shallows. When you're fishing top water, that's what you want. You want to get them overcast skies, stuff like that, and then you get, you had good fishermen that knows how to fish a pop bar, that's what you're going to do. You're going to catch fish. Hopefully we can get some more before the sun goes down. Bugs have finally stopped. They were crawling all over us, it was terrible. They come off. <laughs> oh, God, fish. They look like little baby groupers. Like, you'll see them, like. That's a good one. Oh, right there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment. James was just twitching that little sexy shed pop R with the chartreuse belly. He just twitched it two or three times and let it sit. Twitch it two or three times, let it sit. So that was in the, earlier in the day, before we started getting the top water, he was throwing a yum dinger, and just as it was falling, that's when he would get a lot of his bites. James, a very knowledgeable guy, knows how to fish. Actually, where who gave me the tip on the kinky beaver, that's the person who gave me the tip on the kinky beaver. It's a damn good bait. He's a damn good fisherman. I hope y'all learned something. Just because it's a bait that's old, I mean, it stood the test of time. It's it's a great bait. It's gonna stay here forever. I mean, it catches bass consistently. It might be something y'all wanna add to y'all, your skills set, you know. But uh, still got some little issues. Uh, just did an MRI on the neck, and uh, I don't know what's going on yet. We'll find out soon, so. Until then, see you later.